Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be installing uh, VirtualBox guest additions into Kali Linux. So before we installed Kali Linux into a virtual machine using uh, VirtualBox, uh, and then we upgraded Kali Linux, now we need to install VirtualBox guest additions. And you know, you can tell whether uh, guest additions are installed because inside our virtual machine here, if we try to stretch or resize the actual virtual machine, the desktop will not resize with um, uh, with the actual virtual machine. So with guest additions, we can do a lot of things with file sharing um, and also better support for uh, resizing and, and uh, basically changing the resolution of the system itself. So it, installing guest additions is kind of a must have if we want to get all of the features out of the virtual machine. So. Uh, we have Kali Linux open and we go back into the terminal, this black icon here. If I open this up, black icon, I'm logged in currently as root. So if you're logged in as a different user that doesn't have administrative access, you need to uh, either log in as root or use sudo before you type any of these commands. Because I'm logged in as root, I do not need to use sudo. And what we want to do is run uh, sudo apt get update to be able to update the software uh, or the packages that we have in here. So we need to run uh, sudo apt get update and this will go out and look for all of the packages that are currently available for this system. Okay, so it's already found the packages. Uh, so now it has an updated list of all of the software. Then we want to run apt get uh, install uh, VirtualBox guest and I believe it was x11 yeah so apt-get install VirtualBox-guest-x11 okay and then whenever we install that then it will download looks like 25 megabyte uh, 25 megabytes of, of data uh, and then it will install the guest editions and whenever we restart the system then um, guest additions will be installed and we'll see a major difference in, in, the, op in the, uh, the guest system. So uh, I'll let that download and I'll come back to you whenever it's finished. Okay, so now that we're finished installing uh, the guest additions, then we need to reboot. So you can just type uh, reboot, uh, Shut down now dash r. Shut down now dash r. And that will shut down the computer now, and the dash r makes it restart. Okay, so now we've logged in, and you can see that the screen is actually a little bit smaller, and the, the resolution is much higher now. Uh, so that's that's looking good. And if we resize uh, if we uh, we resize the screen, should be able to. If we resize the screen here, uh, then you notice that the the size of the display actually changes as well, um, and that's what we should see. So whenever guest editions is installed properly, then you can basically maximize the screen size uh, and this is what we want. So that's it for installing guest additions into uh, Kali Linux. Basically we can just open up command line. We do not, uh, you cannot install the normal way by going to devices, insert guest addition, addition CD image. We do not want to install this way. We need to install from uh, the Kali repository in Kali. If this were a Linux system, uh, then we need to in insert guest addition CD image and then uh, use the software that's in that CD, which we may do a, another video on later. So that's it for installing guest additions into Kali Linux. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.